Cheers, Chris from 40 Thrive. And we're heading to the backyard. Oh, not a lot of sun back there, so maybe we'll stay up front today. Yeah. So we just got done doing my cold exposure, and uh, what can I say? Every day I'm attempting to do my 100 push-ups. Now that means I'm doing um, as many as I can consecutively until I give out. And then um, I try to complete the 100. Usually goes in about, uh, so far I've been doing 20, or I'm sorry, I've been doing 40, followed by sets of 20. Now, my goal every day that I look forward to is waking up and I, I think one of these days I'm going to be able to do 100 straight. That's, that's the goal here. I really want to go running. I mean, I'm not much of a runner. I don't really particularly care for running all that much. I don't think I need to do any sort of physical activity that's going to cause me to lose more body fat or anything like that, uh, or potentially lose more muscle mass. Oh, look at this. Look at this Petey boy. Look at this Petey boy. I love his fur. It's all black, but he's got like kind of like this brownish undercoat. He's a boy. Anyway. Uh, but it's just so beautiful. And, and every now and again, I do like a little bit of running. So I live pretty close to the lake. I think I may get a decent pair of running shoes, start running to the lake, and doing some of these videos and doing some of my workout out there. For now, it's just really nice that the weather's starting to break and going out and getting my, my sun exposure is uh, just a little more pleasant. Um, you know, I used to come out here and do my cold exposure and my sun exposure at the same time, but since I started switching to the cold showers, it just got to be a little much, you know. Um, I never claimed to be super superhuman, you know. So, yeah, it's nice out, and um, we're going to get into some push-ups here after I wake up with some coffee. Something I will say, um, a couple days ago was Dingus Day, and I tried to shoot a video yesterday filming the aftermath of Dingus Day, which is more or less like a, like a Polish St. Paddy's Day. It's just a big drinking holiday. And um, um, I was in such rough shape. And I didn't even drink that much, but it was just me and alcohol anymore lately. If I don't really, really, really moderate it, it's it's really starting to lose its appeal with me. And uh, so last night, even you know, I, I admit there's just evenings where it's just you know I'm I'm being overstimulated, just bombarded with with nonsense and um after a while yeah I, I i do like to reach for a glass of wine or something like that just to kind of like tune out um the noise and um so last night i i had a pretty healthy glass of wine came home did not reach for another drink reached for fruit instead and i will say i will 100 percent reach for fruit before i reach for alcohol anymore before bed. I'd, I'd much rather take in the, the, the carbs or whatever. Um, you know, at this stage of the game, I feel like alcohol is way more detrimental to, to my goals than fruit. Um, at least I feel like fruit has, has uh, some benefits to it. Um, uh, alcohol has absolutely zero benefits. So, yeah, we're about to get into some push-ups now. All right. Am I going to hit 50 today? It's 10, got a little itch on the nose.
Damn it, I was working against a lot there. Little distractions, little stiffness in my shoulder. Uh, 42, that's a record for consecutive, you know, I mean, I know I was taking those little pauses up tops, but uh, yeah. Uh, so generally, what happens at this point is I usually do like 15 to 20 reps uh, going forward till I hit my 100. One day, there's been a couple days where I did 200. Um, and hey, you know, that's great, but honestly, it's kind of overkill kind of unnecessary uh yeah so but the great part about doing push-ups is i mean yes it works your arms and your chest but you know you're pushing yourself and you just feel it, it feels like a sort of an aerobic exercise it feels sort of like a full body exercise you feel it a little bit in your core you just feel great after you do them uh, I've almost backed away completely from doing the rest of my workout just because by the time I get done with that hundred um, you know I feel good and I feel like I've done enough to move on with the rest of my day but uh, I slept good last night uh, and uh, it's been a while, so I think I'm going to hit it pretty hard today, just to try and get myself in gear. And I just want to remind you guys, it doesn't happen overnight, okay? I'm still not happy with my body aesthetically. I'm not. But there are times where I look at the before and afters. I, I saw a picture of myself from back in November, and the differences are very striking so keep at it don't give up you you will be proud of the results I, I i should be very proud of this i am very proud of it um it's not as prominent or consistent or as noticeable as i'd like you know like if i'm walking around no one's you know taking knowledge or would even have an idea that i even work out but uh but it's a thousand percent better than where i was so all right, I just got done with 42, so we're going to pick up from there. We're going to see how many I can do from there. I'm going to try and hit 70. Fifty. I just take my time. Seventy. That's actually okay. So my goal today, my goal today was to push my my limit, and I did. Normally, I, I hit forty, followed by twenties. Well, just now I just did. I did forty-two, followed by. Unless I miscounted there, that was another 28 got myself to 70 that's 
that's a that's a, a a big improvement big improvement and you might be asking okay well what are you counting then as sort of like your pause in between i i don't go more than maybe like a minute in between um you know, I'm not too strict about this part. Um, you know, overall, it still counts. As long as you're getting in that hundred for the day, it, it counts. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not getting too technical about it, but that was actually further than I've ever gotten before. A session of 42 followed by a session of another 28 to get me to 70. All right, feeling good. Think we can hit 100 from here? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do 30. Let's get to 100. Okay. Now I just take my time with these. It's not about trying to bust them out fast. If you're not feeling it, that's not that's not beneficial. Okay. 30 starting at 70 never fails uh so far i always stop at 90 i'm always 10 away from 100 always okay but that's the great thing about it you never know what you're going to be able to do by doing this every day it gets better today we reached a new limit tomorrow who knows maybe i'll be able to go all the way to 50 without stopping so i just got 10 more to go Ten more to go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Just, you know, it feels good. It feels really good. I wish I could feel like this the whole day. Okay. Ten more to go, but let's see how many I got in me. And I'll move on to some other stuff. Starting at 90. <laughs> Hundred and three today. All right. That's cool. All right, keep thriving guys.